Yes, um, I'm not going to be doing a DIY as such today, but I am going to go through how to use a modern meter. Uh, it's one of the main tools that uh, we use, electricians use as a um, as a tool to help us drive these cars when working on the electrical circuit. So in uh, upcoming DIYs, I will be using or making use of the multimeter that I have. So I just wanted to go through with you guys how you can actually use it to understand what the car is doing and what wires you're actually working on. So the multimeter that I use is a Fluke, this one here. Now, if Fluke are a really good brand, you want to make sure you get a good quality multimeter. This is going to be directing you on what you need to do and it's going to be helping you to find what wires are what or even faults if you're fault finding. So the last thing that you want to do is going to get a cheap product that is potentially not giving you the right uh, readings because it can lead you up the garden path, so to speak. Had that happened before um, using other multimeters when I didn't have mine um, available and it's really frustrating and it basically gets you nowhere. So make sure that you get a decent multimeter. Again, mine's a fluke. Um, they're a really good brand, they've been in the business for a long time, so they know what they're doing. Okay, so I only want to show you three functions of the multimeter. It obviously has a lot more, but the three ones are going to be the main functions that we're going to be using. Now, those three ones are volts, continuity, and ohms, which is resistance. First, the three that I'm going to show you is continuity. So, what we're going to do is we're going to turn our meter on to continuity which is this one here. has the lines, it kind of reminds me of like a speaker for some reason. So, uh, we've got it to continuity. Uh, as you can see on the screen, it's OL, so that's great. Means that the fuse in the multimeter hasn't blown. So, we're gonna get our leads. These now. Good way to test that the uh, that the multimeter is working okay is to put these two leads together and it should be and give a very low reading. So it was beeping and as you can see it gave a zero reading which is great. So that means that they, um, the two were connected. So this is good for testing uh, if you want to see if there's a break in the wire and or finding um, a plug one end and a plug on the other end and if you're not too sure if the wires, which wire is what at the end. So, with this here, I've just basically got a piece of wire and I'm going to test it and show you how it works. So we've got this one here and we add this one here. So touching those two ends, we can see that this piece of wire is fine, it doesn't have any breaks in it, and it has got continuity. So the next one that we're going to test is going to be the ohms. Now ohms is good for measuring resistance, so if we wanted to see, uh, say, if the wire was an earth wire, and we wanted to see if it was actually going to ground and had a good solid contact, we will test it with our own. So what we will do here is we turn it to own, which is the omega sign. And you can see our omega has got OL, which is good. It means our fuse is good in the meter. Now that's giving us a really low reading of, point of 0 0.2, which is really good. That means that this connection here between the two wires is basically no resistance. So we'll get our piece of wire again. Here we go, we can see it's connected to one end from the other. And what we're going to do is put one on there, one on the other side, and we're getting that same point to reading. So that's basically telling us that from this end to this end, it is the same piece of wire, it's connected, and there's no breaks. You can't actually see if there's any breaks in a wire by just looking at the conduit. It's quite possible that over time, 
um, with vibrations of cars moving, that type of stuff. It's gone brittle and, and gone just generally old. Uh, it could have had breaks in the wire, but we're not going to be able to physically see that. So that can cause issues uh, down the track because your circuit's not going to work properly. So by using this Ohm's test, you can tell internally whether this is okay or not. So we want to put our multimeter onto volts DC. And I'm just going to sit that one here. Now we've got our two leads, reds for positive, blacks for negative. So when we put it on at the end of the battery terminals, we're going to get our voltage reading, which is 12.74. We can also swap the leads around. So black is on positive and reds on negative. We're still going to get the same reading, however it's got a negative symbol there now. So that's just basically telling you that the meter is reading volts, but the negative lead is actually on a positive, and the positive lead is actually attached to a negative somewhere. Uh, you can also use the body of the vehicle to test for your volts. So you've got your battery here, so you can put it on your positive, and then you can use an earthing point, which is basically any piece of metal on the car, and you're going to get the same reading again as 12.74 volts. So that was the three that I wanted to show you, and hopefully uh, in future DIYs you'll have a little bit of an understanding of what I'm actually doing with the meter itself. Dream with the